Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> thank you very much. Excuse me for the opportunity to speak to part two of the Television New Zealand Amendment Bill. Um, I'm going to uh, follow the lead of uh, a number of the speakers before me and, and concentrate on uh, Clause 57A around the uh, rescreening of archive material. Um, there is a wealth of uh, archive material at the Avalon uh, Vault. Um, I've been there myself, but um, I think that it is a good thing that we have, uh, that New Zealanders have the opportunity to see some of this uh, material that has been locked away in that vault for some time, and that also there's a framework set up there to ensure that those who may have claimed royalties, um, if it is rescreened, to have an option to be able to do that. As um, my colleague uh, Claire Curran said, it's very specific as to what is considered uh, archive material. It's programmes uh, or series about. Uh, uh, that were produced before the 27th of May 1989. And while we agree that these, um, these, uh, these shows should be screened again, um, I have a vague memory of some of them, uh, close to home. Uh, Mortimer's Patch uh, is something that I don't re really recall, but I do think it is. I do. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was too busy at the McDonald's. Um, uh, Mortimer's Patch. Uh, something that probably the member from Mangakiki would remember more as Gloss. Uh, he'd, he'd, he, I'm sure he was a big fan of Gloss at the time. Um, Hudson and Halls maybe was uh, a show that he enjoyed, uh, <laughs> maybe something that's, that he enjoyed, um, but I'm sure by some of his contributions uh, in the House he was more a fan of Billy T. James. Uh, um, as we say, uh, fantastic to see some of this uh, uh, material rescreened uh, for nostalgia opportunities, an opportunity for younger New Zealanders to be able to see some of what has shaped New Zealand in terms of uh, on, on our screens. Um, it's also an, an opportunity for us to see and have an, a sense of identity. But, as our previous speakers have mentioned, what is going to be done with this content? What exactly is going to be con done with this content? And, and who is going to be able to access it? Um, because in the commentary in the bill, um, the bill sets out that, uh, very clearly that, um, that pro programming can be rescreened by a provider of another delivery platform that had an agreement with TVNZ f for the supply of that content. And then it goes on to say, we recommend a new section to make it clear that an archived work screened under this section must be screened free of charge to the viewer and that we believe that archive programmes constitute a public good, so the viewer should bear no cost. Um, but at the moment, what, what's the situation that we've got? Um, this content is being played on a Sky platform uh, uh, via TVNZ Heartland, and uh, you know that is pay TV. Um, so if you want to see some of this, uh, so if you want to see some of this material, uh, which has been produced uh, via the public broadcaster Television New Zealand, uh, which has been funded by uh, New Zealand taxpayers over decades. You're going to have to fork out for it. Uh, you're going to have to fork out for it. And, you know, and, and as the minister says, and as, and as the minister says, uh, if that's in the public interest, which, in, which public? The paying public. And I've done a bit of research, and it's, you know, this, this TVNZ Heartland platform is available on a basic Sky package. And that basic Sky package costs you $47.66 a month. <laughs> $47.66 a month. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you're going to, uh, if you want to watch this stuff, uh, the, current, the current way you watch it, via, via, via Sky, you're going to have to fork out $50 a month. That's hardly in the public interest of all New Zealanders, and we think that's wrong. And how is it in the public interest that, uh, you know, under the current model and under the Sky platform, that the programming is supposed to be 100% local content? That's fine. It's supposed to be a celebration of New Zealanders and, and show some of uh, New Zealand's finest shows, but it's only available to Sky subscribers. Not even Freeview subscribers have the ability to tune into TVNZ Heartland. Not even, not even Freeview uh, viewers have the ability to tune into, to, into TVNZ Heartland. And if this is the model that we're going to see uh, in the future uh, for, this t uh, for this television New Zealand content, content that has been built up over decades, uh, content that is very important in terms of uh, uh, educating New Zealanders uh, and future generations about how New Zealand has progressed, if... if, if the only way that we're going to get it uh, is via a pay TV platform, then I think that's a very, very sad day uh, for New Zealand broadcasting indeed. Uh, not, as I say, not available to all New Zealanders, $50 a month. And, uh, currently, uh, TVNZ, uh, <laughs> and currently TVNZ has this archive and what is going to be done with it? Order. What is going to be done with it? Uh, uh, well off track. Uh, Mr. S Mr Chair, I think this is a, a fa fantastic opportunity to actually open up the archive, as I said before. Um, but can we take a look at, we can take a look at the past and see how our nation has grown uh, through some of these programs. Some of them are high quality, some of them will be a questionable quality. Uh, some of them, uh, this, I'm glad that it, this does not include news content, this is basically only just content uh, from, uh, that has come through productions. 
Um, it's good that, uh, that those who have worked on it, those who have uh, come up with those, these ideas, will have fair compensation for it. Joe Goodhue. I move that the question be now put. The question is that the question be now put. Those of that opinion will say aye. Aye. Contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. So. No. Eyes have it. I think the eyes have it. The eyes have it. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 58 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 42 votes opposed. Green Party. Nine opposed. Act New Zealand. Five in favour. Māori Party. Tokotoru e Whakaheana. Progressive. One vote opposed. United Future. One vote in favour. Honourable Chris Carter. One vote opposed. Honi Harawira. One vote opposed. Any other votes? <coughs> Members, the ayes are 64, the noes are 57. The question will be put. The question is a part two stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. No. Ayes have it. No, have it. <laughs> no, I won't do that. <laughs> a party vote's been called for. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 58 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 42 votes opposed. Green Party. Nine votes opposed. Ex New Zealand. Five in favour. Māori Party. Tokotoro e Whakaheana. Progressive. One vote opposed. United Future. One vote in favour. Honourable Chris Carter. One vote opposed. Hone Harawira. One vote opposed. Any other votes? <laughs> Members, the ayes are 64, the noes are 57. Part two will stand part. We now have the uh, vote on the schedule. The question is, schedule stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. No, ayes have it. No, Party vote. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 58 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 42 votes opposed. Green Party. Nine votes opposed. Act New Zealand. Five in favour. Māori Party. Tokotoro e Whakaheana. Progressive. One vote opposed. United Future. One vote in favour. Honourable Chris Carter. One vote opposed. Honi Harawira. One vote opposed. Any other votes? Members, the ayes are 64, the noes are 57. The schedule will stand part. We now move to debate on clauses one to three. Question is, at clauses one to Chair. three stand part. Clear, Curran? Mr Chair, returning to the core part